never take me alive. We'll see about that. I've been watching you Captain Broccoli and I've been studying your every move. Finally I have come across your one true secret. So secret that not even you want to believe it. I'm not falling for your tricks Dr. Cutlery. You'll pay for this. You douchebag. Look around you Captain Broccoli. You're not going anywhere. You might as well give up. Because I have a one thing that will ruin you, and crush you once and for all. And what would that one thing be exactly? You are gay. What? Fuck you, I'm not gay. Come on princess, look at the facts. You wear tights, you named yourself after a vegetable and I heard you playing Mitchell Bolton on your discman on your way over here. By the way Muffin. Who the fuck uses a discman these days anyway? How do any one of those things make me gay? You wearing tights too, you moron. Yeah, but I look good in tights. You know how I know you gay? You just said you look good in tights. Way to go, sexy. Yeah, you know how I know you gay. You picked baby green as a color for your superhero outfit. And you suck Nick. Okay, now you just making things up. Really? Then why do you have that crusty white stuff on your face? I do not. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> made you look. You such a homo. The cuts deep man. Did you? Did you just get an erection? Don't act like you're not impressed. It happens to be one of my superpowers. Wow. A whole two inches. I don't know how you managed to cope with such a tremendous burden to deal with day in and day out. Life must be hard. All the other five-year-olds must be extremely jealous over that monster of a penis you have. I bet firefighters use your super two inches as a fire hose to put out burning buildings or as a safety line saving the lives of poor innocent victims trapped in the flames. You're amazing. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? No, but I have kissed your mother. Ha ha. Okay, that's it. I've heard it. Shut up and kill me already. What do you plan to do with me anyways? Damn. I didn't really think that one through. How about I accidentally leave your gate open and you heroically break it wide, then give me a gentle punch to my right cheek and then fly off to save some bitch somewhere else. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little tired. I was up all night watching Gossip Girl Season 3. Ooh, I love that show. Can I join you? Um, okay, as long as you like to cuddle.